good morning guys it is time for another full day of eating it is early about to get my coffee and cardio and collagen on good habit to start the day use this blender thingy to make it a touch faster you guys have seen me spoon stir it before but Good morning, YouTube. It is Halloween and it is time to get my workout in. So it is cold, it is rainy. My dog had me up at 5 a.m. But you know what, guys? The workout's gotta get done. It's about being consistent and I'm in such a good swing and such a good habit. And I'm excited because my cardio time in the morning before my phone is blowing up is like sacred to me. So I'm just excited to sweat. I'm excited to get my workout in and have a great day. I'll show you guys what I'm eating all day. All right, guys, so I'm doing breakfast of champions here. I will be meal prepping today, but I'm using the rest of what I had from my previous meal prep. So I have my cooked white rice. I am a leftovers girl. I know not everybody can do leftovers, but I don't mind. Depends on my mood, but right now I just got to keep the ball rolling. So I got another call in 45 minutes. So I got to get this breakfast in. I'm about to measure out my rice here. That's three ounces. I've been eating six ounces of rice. When I start my shred on Monday, it is going to be less than this since this is my last week. Okay, so that's at 6.2. I'm not gonna freak out over that. I'm gonna leave it alone. This is my lazy breakfast. So I have spinach here. I'm literally just putting a big handful of spinach on top of it. And that is gonna be my veggie portion now last is i have my meatballs from my last meal prep and this is actually the meatballs that i had frozen and it came in handy because all i had to do was drop them in the oven yesterday morning so i'm gonna weigh out my protein here and i put the meatballs on top of the spinach so that way when they cook down in the microwave the juices and fats from the meatballs kind of will wilt the spinach so that's 4.4 ounces i'm gonna go all right so that puts me at 5.2 i'm gonna track that in the macros heat this up and keep it moving so before we get into breakfast i wanted to give you guys a little physique update definitely starting to lean out I'm really happy about my progress. I feel fantastic, especially the fact that I'm on relatively high calories. Feeling good, but I'm excited to start the shred challenge on Monday. Let's do this. And if you were wondering, yes, I do my cardio in my pajama pants sometimes, and I love it. So this stuff just came out the microwave. The spinach is wilted down. I'm just gonna dress it with some hot sauce. Eat this, get on to my second call, which is at nine o'clock. Once I have a break in my day, because I have a lot of calls today, once I have a break, I'm going to start meal prepping because I have a lot to food prep today. I already grocery shopped yesterday. Well, I didn't have my boyfriend go to the store and had him grocery shop for me, so that was nice. And uh, I'm gonna get it done. All right, so some of you may think this is dry and boring, but it works for me. I'm gonna actually squeeze a little bit of lime on top of it. Use a little bit of soy sauce. I don't track these just little things and I'm gonna add some hot pepper as well. Where's my coffee? <laughs> I wanted to just sit down and do a chat with you guys about my current health goals, what I'm doing and why. So I've decided I'm gonna start the shred on November 4th, which is this coming Monday. The meal prep that I'm gonna be showing you guys is for the next few days. So this meal prep isn't towards that, but I'm going to follow the Gage Girl Training Latin Shred. Starting on Monday, it's probably one of my favorite shreds. I really like it. And why am I doing this? I haven't been able to follow a shred in a very, very long time, all the way through start to finish. And I'm just at a point right now where I have gained weight I have gained body fat that I just don't want there anymore. I want to feel better. I want to feel leaner. I'm 37, you guys, and I'm going to be 38 on my next birthday. And it's getting harder and harder to lose weight for me. And when I say lose weight, meaning it takes a more concerted, long-term, intentional effort for me to lose weight. It's not like when I was 30 and I could just 
you know, bang something out very quickly. It takes a lot more for me now. I wanna share this journey with you guys. When I created the shred, I created the shred from 2012 through 2014. I created it based off of my real life practical experience. And the reality is during that time in my life, I hate dieting. I don't enjoy dieting at all. It makes me feel terrible makes me feel restricted. But when I created it, I said, you know what? I would rather be more focused and concentrated for six weeks as opposed to doing this long drawn thing for 12 to 20 weeks. So I found a way to accelerate my own progress and I've taken it much further over the years because the Shred program was first released in 2016. We've improved it and optimized it several times since. And one reason why I've created so many specialty editions of the Shred, like we have Latin, and we have Asian, we have Italian, we have Mediterranean, is because I've found that there's like, I cannot eat tilapia and asparagus anymore from my contest prep experience. I just can't. I need the meals to be more fun for me. I need them to feel just like regular everyday food, but just in a smaller portion. So I'm excited to really go full tilt with my fat loss goals. I really want results and I want to show you guys what it looks like. I'm going to be following the Latin Shred plus the Mesomorph Advanced Training Plan. I really want to push myself. I really just want to get my discipline grind and flow back. You guys are welcome to join me, but those are the two programs I'm going to be following starting November 4th. And I'm going to be showing you guys more workouts. I'm going to be showing you guys more menus, more recipes throughout that journey. So I'm going to show you guys how I handle Thanksgiving in spite of the fact that I will be on a shred. So for me right now, I need a sense of focus. I need a goal. I, I need this. So I'm sure some of you guys can relate. You are welcome to join me. And I'm just really excited to see what I can accomplish. So join me if you want. So my workout room is also my laundry room. Look at who I found. Is this boss? Is that my bossy boy? This is my oldest son. He likes confined spaces. What are you doing? What are you doing, baby? Well, good boy. Oh, goodness. So cute. All right, guys, you got to forgive me. I am being super boring. I am eating the rest of my meal prepped meatballs, portioning out the same exact meal. You know why? Because it's convenient and this is a real life. I am gonna get to my meal prep after I finish these next four calls. That is three ounces. And this is my last week of my higher carb meal plan. Four ounces, so five ounces. All that's gonna change next week when, okay, six ounces. I'm gonna do my shred. So notice how I tear the scale again, so now it reads zero. And I technically don't even weigh the spinach. I'm just physically placing it in the bowl, but I am adding about, adding about an ounce of spinach here. But do I get like two more leaves? Spinach is a free food anyway, guys. And the last of my meal prepped meatballs are going in here. So let me just tear it one more time. I'm going to be meal prepping salmon chicken Ooh, that's at 3.7 so that's not a lot I gotta make up my protein today big time and i'm gonna make up for it with some shakes and some collagen all right guys so this just came out of the microwave i'm squeezing lime on it putting some hot pepper on it and just a drizzle of soy sauce. Again, I don't count those macros, but bon appetit. I got a busy day, gotta keep going. All right guys, time to meal prep proteins. I have two pounds of salmon here. I'm going to make each one differently. I have a pack of chicken thighs. I'm gonna cook them both at the same time. Starting with the salmon.
I'm making the chicken thighs. This time I'm using parchment paper instead of foil because I'm going to cook it open because halfway through when I make chicken thighs, I drain it because it tends to just accumulate a lot of like water. I mean, some of it's fat, but a lot of it's water. I am just going to lay it flat here. Parchment paper, nothing. Okay, so I have my fresh garlic. Now I'm adding freshly chopped Italian parsley all over my chicken thighs. I'm obsessed with fresh herbs. I was looking for cilantro, but they were out. And Italian parsley is just so fresh and fragrant and flavorful. And I'm gonna give these a Mexican twist with some cumin. This is the stuff that taco seasoning smells like. And I'm being pretty liberal with it. Now I'm going to add just a touch of paprika for that smoky flavor. Not a whole lot. And I'm gonna do just a touch of nutmeg, just a touch, very like, just to add a little complexity. And then some black pepper. I'm going to cook these uncovered halfway through. I'm just gonna drain any excess moisture and then I'm gonna let them cook longer so they can crisp up. There we do. While all that's cooking, I'm gonna have a snack. Washed my hands, of course, after handling the meat, but I am hungry, so I'm gonna have this snack. All right, so my salmon just came out the oven. It smells absolutely incredible. I'm gonna let it cool off for a second. Um, I'm actually going to sprinkle some fresh Italian parsley on top of this, but I'm going to prep it, portion it, and weigh it out for my meals. And my carbs are going to be rice, and I'm gonna put the veggies on the side. This cooked at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. I took the foil off, and then I set it to broil, watching it closely for about in that three to five minute range. All right, so now I am portioning out the salmon. Oh, perfect. Man, I just eyeballed that. So we got four ounces there. Please note that I didn't pack it with the skin on. I left the skin off, which you can see right here. You can leave the skin on, but you need to account for that in your fat macros. That is something I'm leaving off because my fats are pretty low and salmon's already high in fat, so I am leaving the skin off even though I love salmon skin. All right, 3.7, not bad. Let me get this closer to four. To hair over, I'm gonna just leave that be. Each time you put the Tupperware on there, just make sure it's zeroed out first. Okay. Another four ounces, almost spot on, which I gotta say, quite impressed. Oh boy, that's six ounces. Three, uh, four point oh, there we go. And this last bit. Okay, I'm at three point three three. I'm gonna steal a little bit from this other filet here on the bottom. I don't really care if it's multi-flavored. Oh wait, four ounces, perfect. Three nine, that's good enough. So I'm gonna take all of these portions and I'm gonna add my rice and I'm not going to add my veggies until it's time to eat them. So I cooked this white rice in the microwave. What I did was I just added the dry rice to the bowl, put water on top of it. And then once the water was up to my knuckle, right here, I stopped, put the whole thing in the microwave for 25 minutes. Been sitting in the microwave for about five minutes cooling off, and now I'm going to take that rice and put it here. Sometimes I have a rice cooker, guys. Sometimes this is just easier for me. 
So I'm going to portion out my rice. Now remember, I have to tear my scale again. So you always want to zero it out. So that way you know that everything you weigh and put in there is the weight of that item itself. So I'm adding four ounces of rice to each container. So you can see guys, I'm off by 0 0.1. I'm not gonna stress myself and take that out, but this is what I have. I'm going to be adding fresh spinach most likely and some asparagus, but I like to have my veggies fresh. So let me just tear out the scale and do it again. Now your portions may vary, but this is what I'm doing. Again, slightly over, I am not stressing out. All right, you guys, so like I said, I am not going to be cooking my veggies in advance because when I do that and I reheat them, they get a little soggy and I'm not in the mood for soggy veggies. So the way I prepare my asparagus is this bottom piece I don't like because it's very thick and is not so good. So I take my asparagus and I prep it in one step. So I snap it and wherever it naturally breaks off, I discard this piece because this is the piece I don't want to eat. I find it doesn't taste as good. So I'm just breaking off the bottoms. Now these are the pieces I'm going to eat. So this top part of the spears. So these spears I'm going to be putting here in this baggie. And you guys see that I use spinach a lot because it requires zero prep work. So I'm gonna be relying on asparagus and spinach for my main veggies, but I'm gonna keep this in the fridge and I'm gonna steam it fresh right when it's time to eat the meals. So this is my first set of meals. It's literally just salmon and rice. I'm going to put the lids on top of all of these things. And like I said, I'm gonna be adding spinach or asparagus to each meal as I eat it. I'll show you guys the chicken next. So chicken just came out the oven and I wanna talk you guys through it. So if you have other people in your household who are not on a shred like you, you can take a few of the pieces. I've added cheddar and Parmesan cheese to some of the chicken thighs to make it more flavorful for others. The other pieces are here. Now halfway through the cooking, and that was about 25, 30 minutes in, I took this out the oven, which was at 350, and I poured off all of the juice because chicken thighs have a tendency to hold a lot of water. Poured that off, and then I turned the oven up to 410, cooked it for about another 10, 15 minutes, and I just finished broiling it. I added the cheese about five minutes before the broil, and you can see it here. Looks delicious, smells delicious, can't wait to eat it. I'm going to have these chicken thighs on deck. You guys see I have the salmon all set and ready to go, but these thighs are gonna be on deck for the next meals after the fish. So that was my meal prep. I got it all done. Now I'm going to have my salmon and rice for dinner with some veggies. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. You will see my next meal prep next week starting on Monday, November 4th. It's going to be a lot different because I'm going to be following the Latin Shred. You guys are welcome to join me for a limited time. You guys can save 86% off the Shred plan. So make sure you sign up. Link in the description box. And I hope you guys will be joining me on the Shred Challenge. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.